sincere condolences. Absolutely. Let's move on and have a look at the censor now. An Eastern Cape farmer's passion for horses and endurance riding has rubbed off on his farm workers. His workers now take part in provincial and national endurance competitions. Greg Miles of Bear Acres Farm near Stutterheim is sponsoring three of his workers to take part in this fast-growing but very expensive equestrian sport. Greg Miles is a sheep and cattle farmer, but his Arabian and very rare Pintabian horses are his passion. These breeds are known for their hardiness and stamina. Miles, who received his Springbok colours in endurance riding in 2001, uses these horses when he takes part in competitions. His passion soon began to rub off on his workers. One of my workers, Libele, has got an absolute passion for horses and uh, when I got myself a horse box, he started going with to all the rides and started enjoying it and then I realised um, it's a win-win. He's getting to rides, my horses are getting trained and my horses are getting a name if they ride. Three workers on the farm are now involved in endurance horse riding. Two of them were the fastest in their categories at a recent competition at Hofmeyer in the Eastern Cape. 38-year-old Libile Nokama has been doing endurance riding for several years now and he hopes to pass on his skills. I was very nervous when I first started riding, but now I love it and I want my children to follow in this sport so when I'm too old to ride, I can take pleasure in watching them compete. The sport involves more than just riding long distances. Workers are encouraged to embrace all aspects of caring for their horses. What they put in, they get out, with prize money being shared they also get commission on horse sales. Endurance riding is believed to be the fastest growing equestrian sport in the country. Member numbers have more than doubled since the late 90s. Janine Lee, SABC News, East Atlantic in the Eastern Cape. Now, earlier on with Leanne, we were talking about people who had won the Wimbledon Championship mm. the most times. William Renshaw won it seven times. He played in the 1800s. 1881 right through to 1889 he won it. Pete Sampras That's of the, the US one. was the other guy who won the Wimbledon Championship seven times. Yeah. Laurie Doherty and Bjorn Borg and now Roger Federer won it five times. Reggie Doherty, uh, Anthony Wilding and Rod Laver of Australia won it four times. I think Boris Becker won it three, three times. times in a row. That was it. It's confusing career. him with Pete Sampras. Seven times yeah, he won it. I seven start. times. It's amazing in tennis how you have your favourites. Yeah. It's something that you just watch these guys. Was and Pete Sampras one of your favourites? Absolutely. Pete yeah. Sampras used to love Pete Sampras. And, uh, it's there. interesting it though. He, he won Wimbledon a lot. He hmm. won the Australian Open and he won the US Open. But he could never win the French Open. No. Like Ivan Lendl. That's the one. Uh, who never on could one win, win Wimbledon but was dominant in the French Open. It's quite interesting. But Agassi won the Grand Slam. He's yeah. one of the, four, the few players who won on all four uh, surfaces. Okay, the award-winning SABC sports journalist